Hi everybody, my name is Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY, and today I got a great project for you. I'm going to make, we're, we are going to make this cute sign. Doesn't look like much right now. It is a, um, just a blank sign that I got from Joy and Fabrics. I put some uh, scrapbook paper on the back. Now you can paint this and distress it. I'm not very good at that. So I got, it kind of looks like grass cloth and I'm going to, or I glued it on the back and then I put some letters on it. Let me show you why I did that. I am so excited and I know I get excited about the strangest things, but did you know that spring, summer, autumn, and winter all have six letters? I know. So. Knowing that, and it came to me one night, I know, I decided we're gonna make this sign for all the different seasons. Now this is the one I have for summer, and we're gonna decorate it a little bit more than that because I know it looks, it looks kind of blah, but oh my God, there's spring. So we're gonna do winter and autumn on this live, but I kind of wanted to show you what it looked like. And look, I found these cute little clothespins at the Dollar Tree. So it kind of looks like laundry hanging. I think that is so cute. What I did was um, I printed from my computer, I printed uh, the font in hello, the letters that I wanted. And then I just cut them out taped them on and drew around them. Now you can use carbon paper, you can do whatever you want and whatever font you want. This is called Blue Eyes, but then there's this one that's called Magnolia Sky, very popular font. Either one is gonna be so cute with this. Now you can, you could cut your letters out, out of um, fancy scrapbook paper and then paste those on. But I'm having a hard time finding paper that's good for all four seasons. So instead of doing that, I'm just gonna paint on this. So let's get started on that. And I'm gonna use my favorite color of all time, Key West from Apple Barrel. I love turquoise. So um, that's what I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna do some white highlights with my Apple Barrel white also. So let's get started. I just came back from vacation, so I'm all, oh, that's very wet. So I'm all rested and ready to go. And oh, we had such a lovely time. We went to, back to Ohio to see our family and our friends and we had a great time. Okay, but I tell you, there's nothing like coming back home. There just isn't. I am gonna use a round Number six is one of my favorite paint brushes. And I'm gonna start painting my hello. One thing to remember when you're painting, get comfortable. If you're up like this and your hand's doing something funky and you're not comfortable, you're not gonna have a steady hand. So I like to just kind of lay myself on the board and start painting. Oh, and by doing this, I wanna make sure I always paint the left first and then go to the right because Otherwise, if, if you're right-handed, otherwise you're going to lay right down in the paint. Now, if you're left-handed, you obviously need to do it the other way. You know, everybody has a, a craft or a, something they're creative with. And uh, mine just happens to be doing crafts, stuff like that. Um, my, my head is thinking all the time. I'll look at something and go, what can I make with that? My husband's craft is cooking. He's amazing at it. He can take a little of this, a little of that, and make it beautiful. When I'm cooking, I have to have an exact recipe, otherwise I just can't do it. And I think that's why I'm better at baking, because it is an exact science. You can't you can't mess, mess with that, do a little of this and a little of that, unless you're truly gifted. And I have, my mom was that way. She could bake pies quicker than anything and I don't think she ever used a recipe but that is not my that is not where I'm creative um, I have a friend hey Sean and Katrina I love you guys 
Okay, my friend Sean, he, his um, craft is music. He can do amazing things with um, writing and pro producing, maybe, music um, through the computer. I, I have no clue. I can sing, but I can't, I, that's not my craft. So, you know, we all have something that we're creative with and if, and it's, it's usually something that you are happy doing, that you, um, that you enjoy, that you want to spend time with. Now, if you ask my husband, he will tell you, I'm not a patient person. I have that much patience, but when I'm doing stuff like this, oh my gosh, I can sit here for hours and do this. So I guess that's how you know when... That is your true gift. That is what you're crafty at. That is what you're creative at. Okay. So I'm, I'm really liking this color. What do you guys think? I love turquoise. It goes really well in my home too. I guess the hardest part for me with this particular um, project was finding colors that are going to be good for all four seasons. So I just, you know what, I just pick my favorite color and go with it. Something that's going to go with my house. And that's, you know, there's things in my, in this room that are always turquoise all year long. So why not just make this match that? Okay. I am going to an art festival today and I'm pretty excited about it. We haven't had a lot of festivals around here and they're starting to open back up and I'm pretty pretty excited to go. I wanna see, I like to look at people's booths and how they have things set up and I'll look at that and go, why is there so many people at this booth but nobody's at this one? And it's usually just how it's decorated. So you can be the craftiest person and make the most beautiful things, but if you don't present it well, a lot of times it doesn't sell. So I like to, to go around and look at the different things and learn from that. Not that I'm ever gonna have a booth or anything, but I'm always interested in how things are presented. So I think that would, that would look cool. Katrina loves autumn. You know, well, I love the, the leaves changing and all that, and we don't have a, that a lot in Florida, but I do love, you just appreciate it more once um, the humidity dies down and you're more comfortable outside. And autumn here is not like your typical um, September, October, November, I guess it would be. Ours is more December, January, February. And then, um, like the end of March, we start getting getting our spring. So that, or, yeah, I guess, no, I guess our autumn and our winter is pretty much the same because it depends on the day. We don't get a lot of cold. Sometimes it'll get cold at night. But then during the day, it'll be 60. I guess we judge our seasons by humidity. That would probably be a more accurate statement. Okay. So this is looking pretty cute. I know it's probably, I should have painted it ahead of time because who has time to sit here and watch paint dry? But we can hang out, right? Okay, almost done. I really like this font. I go on Pinterest and type in free fonts and then um, I go to the different sites and download them on my computer. So I can have thousands of fonts at my disposal, however I like. What do you think? Oh, I like that. Again, this one's called Blue Eyes. The other one that I held up was uh, Magnolia Sky. I love both of those and they're both pretty popular right now. So I'm going to let this one dry a little bit and let's talk about our little banner with cords on it. 
I'll set you right there and hopefully the cat doesn't jump on it. You never know. Okay, my spring and summer, these are little wooden pieces and I got them on Amazon. I had found some, I think it was Hobby Lobby, but they were great big and they were way too big for this project. So I did the USA, USA sign with them. So, you know, they're pretty big. And it was just too big for this board. So I found these cute little ones on Amazon. And really, they were only a couple of dollars. And they came with their own um, twine. And I threaded a darning needle on the end of my twine so I can go through these little holes a bit better. Because once you get the paper on, it's really hard to get to find the holes on there and to get your twine through it. So I used, you can paint these, you can paint the letter, number, letters, <laughs> numbers, you can paint the letters on there. It will look great, but I decided I'm going to use stickers and that's what these are. And I use the same color stickers for my spring and fall because I couldn't find um, cute spring colors right now. So um, the stickers that I'm going to use, this is for fall. And this is the paper, so it's orange and black. I think those together will be really pretty for fall. And then for winter, I got white glitter letters and little snowflakes. So let's get busy and start those. Let me get you guys out of the way. Okay, so what I do is I just take this and put it on my paper. <laughs> Not without my glasses. And I draw around. There we go. And then, um, like I said, everything has six letters. Pretty exciting. I know. It's you know I was I was all excited and I don't remember who I was telling, but I'm like, oh, did you know they all had six letters? And they're like, great, that's fabulous. <laughs> It's the little things in life. So lately, let me tell you what I've been watching on television. Um, it's called The Chosen. I don't know if anybody's seen that. Um, a friend of mine started watching it and she told me, oh my gosh, you've got to see this show. We have a Friday night Bible study and um, we're always looking for stuff to stuff to do, stuff to watch for our Bible study. Two, three, four, five, one more. And um, so she started watching The Chosen, and I guess in the beginning it was on YouTube and Facebook, and now it's only on this app. And you download the app, and then we can, since we have a smart TV, we can um, take it to our live TV, or our big TV, and watch it there. And it is amazing. It's it's a lot of people are complaining about it, which kind of got my attention. But what I love about it is that it portrays Jesus and the disciples as they would be in this day and time. And it's kind of cool. It's like, you know, though, what would Jesus do? Well, this is kind of like, what would Jesus do? It's pretty awesome. So if you get a chance, download the app. You don't have to pay for it. You can pay it forward for somebody else to watch it but you don't have to, and um, it's just really great to watch. In fact, we binged on the first season, my husband and I, and, and really enjoyed it. Okay, so I've got six of these um, drawn out, and look, it only takes that much paper. So out of a 12 by 12 sheet, you still have plenty of paper left over to do more fun things with. And this was 69 cents. So 69 cents, it gives you a whole lot of fun. That's the way I look at it. How much fun can I have with this? Okay, so I'm just gonna cut across. If I should use my bigger scissors for that. Here they are. You guys, you also see this table. It is a mess. It is a white hot mess. This table is our Bible study table, our dining table, our Facebook Live table. <laughs> it's just a table for all occasions. And I've got a really cool story about this table. Um, when we first moved here, 
in our house up north, we didn't have a dining room. It, it was a very small house. So there was no need for dining room furniture. So we moved here and our, we were in a rental for a couple of years until we were able to find our forever home. And um, we had one of those six foot folding tables and folding chairs. And I made covers for them, of course I did. And it was cute, it had a nice tablecloth and that was our dining table and chairs. And uh, one day our next door neighbor he was an older gentleman and his wife had just passed and I think he was trying to downsize the rooms a little bit, but he was getting rid of his dining room table and chairs and his, I think it was his son, son-in-law, whatever, was putting it out to the street with a free sign. And just at that moment, my husband was going outside and said, oh, and he just drug it all back into our, our garage. and. We've changed out the chairs because they were a little rickety. They had, the, they were cane back, and I don't know how to fix that. So it was, they were very wonky, and it, I don't think it was real safe to sit in. So we got different chairs, and um, I mean, the rest is history. It is a beautiful table. Okay, so I cut out like this, and then I'm just going to cut them out. I'm going to use my bigger scissors for that. Oh, do it this way. All right. I'm going to do my winter and my autumn um, pieces first, so then I don't have to go, go back and forth and back and forth. I like to um, kind of assembly line things when I'm doing them. And I think the thing I like about crafts is I can't, I have a hard time focusing on just one thing. And I think um, with crafts, it's got so many different steps to it that you can just do a little and stop, do a little and stop. And I like that. Uh, when I'm working on the computer, I have 10 windows going all at once. And I'm like, oh, I want to do this. I want to look at that. I want to read this. Oh, that's pretty. And, you know. and when they came out with Pinterest, I'm like, oh my God, somebody gets me because I can look at kitty vid videos and then, oh, I like to make that. And oh, isn't that a beautiful living room? And that's how my brain works. Kind of scary, I know. Hmm. Fine line between uh, brilliant and crazy. I, I don't even know which one I am. So it depends on the day, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's do, let's do our fall paper. So I went to Hobby Lobby Thursday. They're getting their Christmas stuff out. I'm so excited. I'm, I love Christmas. Christmas. Christmas is my whole thing. Ask my neighbor because <laughs> she made me promise that I would not put any, if I put the lights outside, I'm not allowed to light them until after Thanksgiving. Well, my tree and everything comes up the day after Halloween. I love it that much. So when we had Thanksgiving dinner here, it was kind of funny because I decorated the whole table Thanksgiving, but the rest of the house was Christmas. So after dinner was done, then I officially announced it Christmas season. I am I'm the, the girl that watches all the Christmas videos on Hallmark, and they started last night, Christmas in, in, Christmas in July, but it's only June. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna have to make one more. I ran, I did it the short way and I don't only have enough for five. So let me cut the, no, let me just do this. There we go. Make my sixth one over here and it's all fabulous. So being a crafter, a lot of people don't understand why stores like Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics and Michaels always have their Christmas stuff out insanely early. But if you're a crafter and you want to make gifts for people, you got to do it early. Otherwise, you're not going to you're not going to have time. And I, you know, clothing stores and stuff like that, yeah, I'm not understanding the whole Christmas thing that early, but 
but craft stores and, and maker stores, they call them now, people that make things, um, I can understand why their Christmas stuff comes out early. There we go. Okay. Let me get these little do jobbers cut out. That's the technical term, do jobber. Yeah. Okay. You know, my um, friend Sean, I was telling you that he's gifted with music. He's also, I think he could be a, a songwriter because his poetry is beautiful. And Katrina, his girlfriend, her poetry is amazing also. I think they're both um, deep thinkers. I know I sound like that, what is it, on The Wizard of Oz? Deep thinkers when he was given when the wizard was giving out the awards at the end <laughs> he only had a brain but these two are deep thinkers they they're not superficial people at all and I think that's what I love about them because I don't like people that are superficial that have no depth if you know what I mean those are the ones that they only live by what everybody else tells them. They, they can't think for themselves. So, yeah, I kind of have... I, I, I don't have many friends. I don't have any friends that are like that. So, my friend Betty, she is the creative genius behind my blog. I can write. I can take pictures. I can make things. I don't know anything about coding or anything like that with computers. It, it's very, I was, it's something I would have to go to school for to learn because it's, it's just not coming to me and she's amazing at it. And I think God puts people in your path that fill in the gaps that you can't, can't do. Um, whether it's your husband or your friends, but it's, it's always really nice to have somebody that thinks a little different than you and that fills in different things that you don't have in your life. So it's kind of cool. All right. I am going to... I don't want to do something flat on, or on the wood on my table, so I am going to hmm, do it on the back side of this so I don't get anything on my table. I don't care if I get anything on... The back side of my sign. Hey, it's looking. It's dry. Yay! All right. So let's do our little wood pieces. And for this, I'm going to use Mod Podge. I didn't know this, but Mod Podge comes in a huge number of different um, I have var variables. I, I, don't, I don't know the word. There's the matte, the gloss. You know, and all things like that. But there's also a special um, formula for wood and for metal and for glass. And I didn't know any of this. And, of course, I saw it on Pinterest. You can't put anything on Pinterest that isn't true, right? All right. This one here is just the mat. And it's a sealer, a finisher. And then the rest is in a different language. So, I'm just going to take my foam brush. And I'm going to do my letters. All right, so I have six of them here. I'm going to do one side with the winter and one side with the fall. Let's see if I can pick them all up here. All right. So just put a little, a little dabble, do you? I know I'm dating myself. That used to be a commercial, but I couldn't. I can't remember what it was for. A little dabble, do ya? <laughs> Thank you, Shauna Katrina. You guys are sweet. Okay, I noticed on this one, I got a little edge right there, so I'm gonna trim that off so it doesn't um, stay. Mod Podge. So it doesn't um, leave a little edge on there because 
that won't look so pretty. All right, and I kind of did that on the um, the tip here also. Okay, so that that's my thing, and then on the holes here, what I need to do is um, poke a hole so I can get my string through there. And I just use the edge of my scissors. You can use an awl or something with a point on it. So that's that. I don't know if you can see. There it is. I like that. That's going to be so pretty with those white glitter letters. Nice. And my friend Jody, who was on one of my lives, told me to use a credit card to smooth this down. And if she wasn't right, I'll tell you. It's amazing. Okay. So I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm going to do this one and do the back side at the same time. Instead of doing all the winter and then all the spring. Spring. <gasps> Autumn. Okay. And I noticed there's some with the size of the frame that I got here. Or the, the backer board. It's a little big, so you could actually put, um, oh, I don't know, paint little wooden things and put on there, like one for winter, one for spring, and put Velcro on the back and just make a, come on, change it up for all the seasons, which I think would be cute also. I was just so excited when I found everything and found it so cheap. This backer board here was um, at Join Fabrics and it was, it was on, I think I told you guys already, it was on sale, $10. And normally these go for like $30 and up. Okay, so there's my winter, there's my autumn. So let's do the rest of these. My little Mod Podge. Okay. So um, my cousins and I all got together while we were in Ohio for um, just a night to get together. There's a local winery. So we went there for dinner and a nice glass of wine and got to sit and talk. And I love that. I only get to see them once a year. We talk on Facebook, but I only get to see them see them once a year. And... It was great. Last year we couldn't go because of the whole pandemic stuff, but it was nice to see them this time. And if you look at my Facebook page, you'll see, you'll see their pictures, their smiling faces. They had a winery cat and a winery dog there, and so we got to um, we got to play with them a little bit, and that was kind of cool. Okay, make sure that all your edges glue down. Yeah, I think this one did. There, in the beginning, it didn't feel like it did. All right. So I know we're in the middle of summer, but I am really thinking of things for fall already. Really wanna get a jump on that and start doing some stuff. There we go. Yeah, that one I I had quite a bit of extra. How do I do that? There we go. Also, if you don't want to cut them off, if you take a sanding block and do the edges, it kind of distresses it a little bit and looks cute. If you're into the distressed look. It was funny, when I was growing up, um, we kind of had the distressed look and it wasn't popular back then, but it's kind of, you know, you, you do it with what you have and nobody ever threw anything away. If you couldn't use it, your neighbor could. And it was, it was kind of nice though. There was more community and you could, um, trade things, trade my talent for your talent. There was this little old lady in town and um, she 
She was getting up in years and wasn't able to do her flower beds, and she always had beautiful flower beds. So I love to pull weeds. It's just really therapeutic for me. So I would go over and I would do her flower beds. Well, wouldn't you know it, um, I got paid back, not in money, but when my house had an issue with electricity, um, her family member came over and helped rewire my house. So, I mean, you always get paid back in certain ways. And you don't, I, I never did it to get paid back. I did it because it made her house look pretty and I enjoyed doing it. And she would always invite me in for cake, which cake, I love cake. You can always get through to me through cake. Although um, my friend Sean last night brought cheesecake and even though it's not cake cake, it's still amazing. So I was pretty stoked about that. I don't know what it is, but I do have this addiction to sugar. And when we were on vacation, boy, I fed that addiction quite a bit. <laughs> and now I'm paying for it because now I have to behave and go back to my, my normal routine and not vacation mode. Ah, come on. This one's sliding all over the place. I'll get it on there straight. Okay. The hardest part about this whole um, project, believe it or not, is the stickers. I had such a hard time because I thought, and I don't know why, but in my head I thought spring and summer both start with an S, so the, the first letter is S on the front and the back. Well, I did that, and then when I flipped it around, summer was backwards. Don't do that. What you need, what you need to do is just do one, like do summer, and then flip the whole thing over and do spring with your stickers. Because for some reason, I just couldn't figure out the whole backwards part of it. Okay, we're halfway done with these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy anything at the art fair today, but I sure I'm gonna get a whole lot of ideas and take pictures. I know a lot of vendors don't want you to take pictures and, and I respect that. I wouldn't take pictures um, if it came to you know stealing their ideas or anything. But I do like to take pictures of things that inspire me hence inspire me to DIY. So if I see a way that a booth is set up or um, how things are decorated, I'm gonna ask if I can take a picture. And most of the time they'll, they'll let me when they find out that it's for um, design purposes alone. Because a lot of times when they, um, when they decorate their booths, they really do things in vignettes, which is what I like, like this one here. I have three things in this vignette, and it's the rule of three, five, and seven. You always, and seven sometimes gets a little busy, but you want to do your little groupings or vignettes in odd numbers. It's, I don't know why, but it's more pleasing to the eye, and if it's pleasing to the eye, then it gets to your brain, and it's more pleasing to the brain. So the way a lot of times people decorate, and also with varying heights, some are tall, some are short, some are in between, like that. Um, people will decorate their booths that way, and I love that, and I, I want to learn more how to make my home look like that. So I'll, I'll tell them in advance what I'm doing. It's like, can I take a picture of how you do in the varying heights and stuff like that? And the, nine times out of ten, they'll be like, sure, why not? Or if I tell them that... Um, I have a blog and I do um, Facebook Lives and I'm really interested in, in how they did things. They're, they're pretty open to that too. Okay. I'm looking at my makeup. You all, I don't wear makeup a whole lot. It's only for 
lives and special occasions. But I have learned a valuable lesson today. Do not work on your project and then go in and put your makeup on because I think right now my makeup is 50% makeup and 50% Mod Podge because I had it all over my hands. So it's like, yeah, not a good idea. So there's a beauty tip right there. Don't put on your makeup with Mod Podge. <laughs> Although it might stick better in this Florida heat. I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll let you know next week when I see y'all. Okay. Yeah, Katrina, when I say distress, I'm talking about the vintage look or making it look like it's it's worn and well-loved. A lot of times... That's, that's like the... the huge thing right now. People will paint something beautiful and then distress it with a sanding block and make it look like it's it's been well well loved and worn. And I, I think a lot of that stems from people wanting to feel like they did when they were a child. And that distress look and the, the worn look and stuff that was popular when they were a kid like in, in my day, it was the, well, actually it was before my time, but it's my favorite, is the Bakelite. And what it is is basically a plastic, but it was made different than plastic. And they did radios and alarm clocks and all stuff in this Bakelite. Well, it reminds me of my childhood because my mom had a Bakelite clock, um, alarm clock that was by her bed and she also had a comb and a brush set and a mirror made out of this Bakelite. And I loved it. And when I see stuff like that in a um, antique store, it just makes me, it reminds me of my childhood. And a lot of people that have had good childhoods um, love to be reminded of that. And I think that stemmed the whole farmhouse thing. That got to be so popular because I think it was a relaxing, calming vibe that people were getting from it. So in a, in a chaotic world like we live in, who doesn't want a little calmness and um, stuff to remind them of a simpler time? That's, that's my take on it. But... Um, I don't distress a lot of things when I make them. I kind of like the new fresh look, but I I definitely can appreciate certain antiques. Um, Fiesta Wear is my absolute favorite, and it's an antique, but they also still make it. So I have pieces of both, and I love them both just as much, but Fiesta Wear, and, and I think the reason I love it so much is because it's so colorful and I love color all right this is the last one I'm doing yay I gotta do the winter side yet and I'm I'm poking the holes luckily I haven't poked through my finger yet yet no <laughs> who knows all right last part of Mod Podge and, you know, this is like the Elmer's glue when I was a kid, where if you get it on your fingers, you can just peel it off. So, I'm sure I'll have a lot of a lot of peeling to do because I'm all glued up. Usually, I'm all painted up. <laughs> so, I've been learning something new. Let's see if I can get that off. Um, if you know me very well, you know I love to do watercolor. And... Um, I think I love it because it's, it's, I like the, the transparency of it. I have no words where you can see through the colors. You can see the layers and I like that. Um, it's more, it's not opaque, which is a solid you can't see through. And I, and I think it's just so much prettier. I don't know, I like the wash and all that. So I've been learning watercolors and I've, I've been doing them for quite a while now. Well, I've been learning watercolor on the computer and <laughs> it's a, such a learning curve. 
but um, it's also another creative outlet that I can do. I have a stylus, so I can still draw on the computer, but I got uh, my laptop is the kind I can lay flat like this so I can draw comfortably because um, I can't draw with it up here like a laptop. So I got that and uh, been, been creating some stuff. And I hope by um, the end of July, I have my, um, I'll have a Shopify site all set up with my watercolors. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited and I'm a little nervous about all that. So your mom loves old fashioned wood. Yep. Yep. And it probably something that reminds her, um, of when she was a child. Yeah. Yes, they do make furniture now to make it look like it's antique. Um, that colored driftwood, I don't even know if it might be what this frame is. Uh, a, a driftwood style. Yeah, see how they distressed it with sandpaper on the edge to make it look old? And that look is everywhere and it's it's kind of cool. So this this would fit in anywhere. It, it's, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of like a, a style in its own, which is it, cool. Um, it's just in my home, I have everything pretty crisp and clean. Not m minimalist or modern, but I, I like it that's, that's not sanded down. But for signs like this, I think it's cool. And I want to mention, um, I got these little, can you see if I can get it to, um, focus in these little eye screw eyes I don't know so it's this little circle so I can get it there so you can see it and at the other end is threaded so you screw them in and I got them in this little tiny bottle uh, Dollar Tree has these little glass bottles and it's amazing how much I've used those but I poked a hole in the side of my um, well, you have to take my word for it. On the side here with a um, push pin, got the hole big enough, and then I was able to put my little screw eye in there, and I have one on each side. That's what I'm going to hook my banner to. So, and the, the screw eyes, I think you can even get those at Walmart. I think I got mine at Lowe's because I was using them for other things. Okay, so. I don't need this anymore. Let's do our letters. Let's see if I can turn this in such a way you can see it better. There we go. So I have my um, fall on one side. I didn't trim this one. And my Christmas on the other. So let's do, not fall, autumn. I keep wanting to say fall, but that's only four letters. That wouldn't work. So I'm gonna stretch these out in in a row like this so I can do my letters. These were $4.99 at Dow, no, Hobby Lobby, but they were 50% off. So for $2.50, and there is a lot of stickers on here I plan on using for a whole bunch of other projects. So that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, Autumn. Let's start here. See this little parchment type paper that came in the middle? I love this, so I'm gonna use it for another project. <laughs> I have so many bits and pieces of things. All right, so there's my A. I'll center it on there. Oh, I love it. Ooh, sparkly. Okay, I'm not doing the backside, not yet, because I, screwed it up the last time. Well, I still still have some trimming to do on some of these. This little tiny pair of scissors has really helped me out quite a bit. I use them for to get into smaller things. Okay. You. Quatom. It's one of those words I don't understand because why is there an M and an N at the end? 
Makes no sense. Okay, well, I'm still trimming. Okay. My T. I had, I was going to originally do it with wooden letters, but I could not find them small enough um, at a price I wanted to pay. Because they were, some of them were like $2 a letter. And I'm like, yeah, no. For $2.50, I can get all of these letters. Oh, I love this glitter. I know fall is not, you don't usually think of glitter. You think of glitter with Christmas and, and all that stuff, but I, I like that. I wish I could have found like a springy pink or baby blue or mint green something to do with my spring, but I couldn't. So I just kept that the same as my summer, the navy blue. All right, one more letter. I have to tell you a story. Yeah. So we had people over last night for dinner. My husband makes killer ribs. I mean killer. And I'm not a fan of ribs. I love these. They're amazing. Um, if you want to know how, uh, I'll have to ask him if he can can share because I've never had ribs like this. They're so great. Uh, so we all sit down to dinner. We got all the food out. We got um, the silverware out, the placemats. Everybody's got their glasses. And we have the food and we sit down. I forgot to put the plates out. <laughs> oh, I was, that was so funny. I'm still laughing about that. That was hilarious. I'm like, how did I not put the plates out? Uh, so I we did. Because <laughs> my one friend is like, Oh, the food looks so good, but how are we supposed to eat it? <laughs> oh, if you can't laugh at yourself, oh my gosh. Especially over silly things like that. That is so funny. Okay, so I have my autumn, I don't know if you can see it, all set out here. All right, don't just flip them over like this, because then you're going to be wrong, okay? What you need to do is... Take your, your A for autumn and put it at the end of your letter or under your word and then the U and then the T, U, M, N. Otherwise, winter's going to be backwards. Trust me, ask me how I know. Because <laughs> I did it. So I'm so glad that I do a lot of my projects before I turn the camera on. Okay, well, got to be small, smarter than the cellophane. There we go. So the art festival today is in Dunedin, and it is, um, I know it sounds Irish, Scottish, whatever, but um, yeah, it's about 30 miles maybe away from here, something like that. Oh, this one didn't have a little piece of paper in between. That's okay, I can still use this cardboard for something. Even if it's just cutting out my my letters here, here they are. This was um, on a piece of card stock. There, that was on a piece of card stock. I can even do it this way so you guys can actually read it. There you go. That I have found in a, in a package. So I use my cardboard and stuff for everything. Okay, winter, here we come. Let's see if I can get my W off. You have to be careful with these type of letters. They're foam. And if you pull them off on one corner, you're going to stretch it. And this is one of those that it stretches, but it doesn't come, not like elastic. It doesn't come back. It just stays stretched out. And then your letter doesn't look right. W is hard to lay on there straight. I got it a little wonky, but it still looks okay. 
and that's on the back of my N. So when you put them together, you'll see, oops, uh, I. So when I was a little girl, it was the 60s, and my mom, bless her heart, bless her heart, she thought she was really helping by teaching me how to say my alphabet backwards. I, no lie, how to say my alphabet backwards. So then when I went to kindergarten, and my class was the very first class to ever have kindergarten, they never had it before, it always, it started with first grade. So that's how old I am. When I got to kindergarten, my teacher was not impressed that I only knew my alphabet backwards because now she had to teach it to me frontwards. And so she asked my mom, why did you teach her her alphabet backwards? And she said, well, since she was born a girl, we figured the only type of job she'll get is a secretary. And when she does filing, she'll be able to do her alphabet frontwards and backwards. No lie, true story. I still know my alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. That's my skill. So, yeah. So when I look at letters like this, I'm like, oh, okay, so I know frontwards and backwards. Every time I see something like that, it reminds me of that story. So if you, you know, have any amazing skills like knowing all the presidents in order and all that stuff, which I know up to a point, but uh, that actually helps you when you're in a town that you're not familiar with, because a lot of towns that have presidential street names, they are in order, so. Yeah, good to know, huh? All these amazing facts you're, list you're learning today. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised my cat hasn't been out. She's walked across the table a couple of times. She must have got tired of me. All right, one more letter, and then we can start hanging them together. And I still don't have it figured out how I'm going to actually hook it to the sign. So maybe that's something we can figure out together. Okay. I love that's glitter too. There you go. You can kind of see it sparkly. A for autumn, R for the end of winter. Okay. Now I put my twine on the end of a darning needle because it's got a really big eye on it and you can um, thread this pretty good. This twine is a lot thinner than most twine you'll get, but it came with it, so I'm going to use it because those holes aren't really huge enough for regular twine. <laughs> Coffee break. Coffee break. Mm. Okay. What I did with this banner, and you can do it anyway, you can just string the whole thing together, but I, let me see on this side better, I tied in between each one, and actually that's not a, the easiest thing because you want, you have to get them all kind of equal. So you can just loop through, and I might, I might do that with this one. I think I'll just loop through the whole thing. And we'll see how that goes. Only thing is, is it's going to keep the twine going across one side. And I think that will look better on the buffalo check than it would on the snowflake. See what I mean? It's going to be going across the front. But actually, that's kind of cute. All right. So let's do all of these. And I'll do it. That way you can adjust them. In fact, I wish I would have done the others that way. Because this is way easier. I'm all about easier, but I'm also all about what is the cutest. Because who wants ugly stuff in your home, right? It gives me so much pleasure when people come to my house for the first time, or even if they've been coming, like our Bible study group, somebody will say, oh, I like that. Did you make it? I'm like, yes, I made that. 
it, it's just a thing. Like all the art hanging on my wall, if, um, if it's not a photograph of our family, it's something I made, um, except for a couple pieces. But with um, learning more how to paint digitally, I might be able to make more stuff for my house. Okay, this is autumn. I know it's backwards. I'm gonna get them closer so you can see it all in one shot. All right, there's autumn. And then when you flip it and not get it all tangled up, oh, for heaven's sakes, winter. So this sign you can truly use all year in your house and you can decorate it however you want. So let's, I'm gonna put it on my sign and I'm gonna figure out a way to attach it on on my other pieces, I have a knot at the end that I tied. And I think I might just take another piece of twine, pull it through there and tie it on. I might do that. But my autumn and winter is gonna be different because I didn't do each piece individually. So let's, let's figure this out. It'd be, whoa, it'd be neat to do it in a way that you could just put a hook on the end and just hook through those those eyes. And you know what, I'm gonna to try to figure that out. There's gotta be a hook, there's gotta be a hook that I could put on there. If I figure that out, I'll post it on my blog so you guys can see it. But for right now, oh gosh, how pretty. I am just going to tie this on so you can see it but I gotta figure out I gotta figure out that whole hook situation <laughs> all right doing it this way it's nice because you can slide these and adjust them however you want you can make them farther apart closer together uh, um, the spring I've even thought of putting little bows on the top of each piece of wood so it gives it that cute, cutie, cutesy little spring look. You know, you can also do this if um, you're the man of the house, or you're the only, you know, you live alone and you're you're a man, or even if you don't, and have it look a little masculine. You can use masculine papers, because um, not, you know, they always say that you know women do all the crafting and it's not the truth i know quite a few men that do little crafts along the way even if it's woodworking to me that's still craft my friend larry is amazing woodworker okay oh i love this okay is that not cute now what i would do is I would put a bow here in the corner, but I would do it with Velcro so I can make my my bow out of different seasonal colors, like the orange and black or orange and yellow for autumn, and then maybe the lighter pastels for spring and red, white, and blue for summer. And then, um, I don't know, winter could be anything from a Christmas bow to like we did with the the light blues and the snowflakes and snowmen and all that stuff. And then at the bottom, I might put a little wooden, um, they have the little wooden cutouts, like the pumpkin and the Christmas tree and the flowers and, you know, all sorts of stuff for um, the different seasons. And put that down there also with a piece of Velcro so you can change it out throughout your seasons. So... There's my autumn. Let me show you winter quick. Maybe. Once I tied this on. No, maybe not. I tied it too. I tell you guys, I just can't see. I've got those cheater glasses. Okay. So I just loosely tied that on there. And you see how good it holds. So maybe we could just do that instead of finding a hook. 
Come on. Come on, you. Take my needle and open it up. Okay. Finally. There we go. And I'm just going to hold it on because so, I want to show you all the seasons. There's winter. And I think using a neutral background like this, um, you can even distress it, um, make it look like barn wood. But something neutral that will go good for all seasons. And don't forget these little little um, clothes pins. I'm going to put that on my new ones, but here's spring. And I think it would be cute to put a bow at the top of every letter. And then finally, summer, which is where we are now. Oh, I've got the cutest place I'm going to hang this. So I'm, I will do that, take pictures for y'all and put it on the blog. And I hope to see you on my blog, inspiremetodiy.com. And it is uh, for crafts and for decorating your home and for doing it on a budget. Because who wants to overpay for things when you can, can do it yourself? This project here with everything cost under $30. Under $20, actually, under $20. So you could buy this already made, I'm sure. And it's definitely not going to be under twenty dollars. So, and you and you can't you can sit, tell everybody, hey, I made this myself. So, if you like this project, I would love it if you sprinkled it all over Facebook. Tag your friends if you think it's something they would like. And I will see you next week on my next Facebook Live at noon. Thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me. Love you. Bye.